It's been a while since my last update and I have some news to share with you about my academic journey and what's coming up next for this channel. I've gained quite a few subscribers recently and I think it's time to bring everyone up to date and briefly recap my studies over the last seven years. First things first, I'm thrilled to announce that I finished writing my master's thesis and I have submitted it last Friday to the committee for review and I'm waiting for feedback. I've completed my master's program within the allocated two years and I will be doing my defense sometime in August. We still have to set the date. It's going to take about a month for the committee members to send back the feedback. But meanwhile, I am going to prepare my thesis defense presentation and practice delivering it. So this is a crucial part of the whole process where I will present my research find findings over the course of my master's program and answers the questions from the committee. It is exciting because it means that I have achieved yet another milestone, but still, despite delivering so many presentations over the course of the last, I would say, three, four years, it's still a little bit nerve wracking. In addition to preparing for my defense, I also need to write a scientific paper based on my master's project. This will allow to share my research findings with the broader scientific community and contribute to the artificial spin eye simulations research field. I have also decided on the journal I'm going to submit my paper to. It's a high impact journal and the standard for the publications there is quite high, but I still want to risk it. Since it's also my first first outer paper and considering that the journal is also high impact, I expect it to be challenging to get my paper accepted for the publication in this journal. But I'll probably going to learn a lot from this experience and if it doesn't work out with this one, we'll just go to the next one. So if you're interested in how this will work out, let me know in the comments and I will post some videos on this topic. Anything from writing the paper to formatting it and responding to peer review feedback and whatever else is relevant to the publishing process. Now let's talk about the future. I submitted my PhD application on May 15th and I'm still waiting for approval. If all goes well, I'll be starting my PhD this September. And at the end of the video, I will be sharing an interesting piece of news that is related to that, but it's probably not what you expect. So make sure to watch till the end. So if I get accepted into the PhD program as I'm hoping to, my research will likely involve artificial spin eyes, machine learning, and neuromorphic computing. So this is an interesting interdisciplinary area that I'm really looking forward to working on. And for the first time, I'll also might get a chance to work in the lab besides running simulations as I did so far, because my main area of research involves computational physics and simulations. So working in a lab will be quite a different experience. We'll see how that works out. Now, for those who are new, let's talk briefly about the history of this channel. I think I can consider myself to come quite far in my academic journey. And first of all, I would like to take a moment to say thank you to all of you, my family, friends and subscribers who've been here since the beginning and for your support throughout the last seven years that it took me to get to this point. So as for this channel specifically, I created it back in 2017 when I first went back to school to start my undergrad. And back then I had no idea that I would ever go to graduate school. And never mind the fact that I didn't even know what it meant to do master's and PhD degree. Um, I didn't know how those things worked because I never really thought about it. Throughout my undergrad, I failed a couple classes and I did quite average in quite a few of the others. But thankfully, my current supervisors, I guess, saw the potential in me and gave me the opportunity to try my hand at research. First, as an undergrad summer research student in my fourth year of the physics undergrad and then later in the master's program. And now here I am about to start a PhD if everything goes well. Looking back, my older videos are all over the place. Anything from sharing about my school updates to trying my hand at making tutorials, uh, specifically physics tutorials, and just some random videos. They all feel quite cringy and I just don't like to 
rewatch them again, but they are all part of my journey and they're also part of my growth. So they're still on my channel. Now I feel like I'm finally starting to figure out where this channel is going. My research in computational physics and high performance computing introduced me to Linux. I've never used it before. And quite frankly, the first time I ever tried using Terminal, when it finally worked and I knew what I was doing, it felt like magic. And I'm sure some of you can relate. And as my confidence grew, I thought, why not try making some videos about it? And as I can see, people are quite liking it because those videos seem to do well. So you can expect to continue seeing more videos on Linux and uh, specifically related to physics research and um, high performance computing, machine learning, and everything around these topics. I also learned a beautiful programming language, Julia, which I really love. So I've also made a couple videos on that and I'm planning to continue making videos on the Julia programming language. Machine learning is likely to be a very big part of my PhD project, so you can expect seeing many more machine learning related videos on this channel as well. And then depending on the interest from the audience, I might also post a few videos here and there about the physics of nanomagnetism and you know anything interesting happening in this research area. And now finally, as promised, the interesting fact that I was referring to at the beginning of this video. So I started this academic journey as a mature student. I was 33 years old and it was back in 2017. Now, seven years later, I'm finishing my master's program. And at the same time, my oldest son is graduating or graduated high school uh, just a few weeks ago. And he will be starting university in September. And guess what? He's going for a physics degree too, just like I did. While I'll never told him what to study and which path to choose, but I guess my academic journey still made some impact and contributed to his decision to study physics. It's kind of amazing if everything works out that he'll be starting his undergrad in September while I'll be starting my PhD in the same university and the same physics department. But even if he changes his mind later and chooses to switch majors, it's still completely fine. That's it for this update. If you have any questions or if there's anything specific you want to know about, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.